From the Nigerian capital, Abuja, to the United States, loud protests and silent prayers. Amen. Amen. They're all calling for the release of more than 200 schoolgirls who were abducted in Nigeria. They were taken from this school in a remote northeastern region three weeks ago. The government's response has been criticized as slow. Now, the U.S. president has spoken out. We've already sent in a team to Nigeria. Uh, they've accepted our help, uh, a combination of military, law enforcement, uh, and uh, other agencies who are going in trying to identify where, in fact, uh, these girls might be and to provide them help. They've already been uh, seeking greater cooperation with the Nigerians. This may be uh, uh, the event that helps to mobilize the entire international community uh, to finally do something uh, against this horrendous organization that's perpetrated such a terrible crime. The abduction is also attracting global attention. The hashtag Bring Back Our Girls has now been tweeted over one million times. Our colleagues at BBC Trending have been following it, which started two weeks ago. And now, former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Pakistani schoolgirl Malala Yousafzai have lent their voices to the campaign. This is the group which has claimed responsibility for kidnapping the girls. The Islamist group Boko Haram, whose name means Western education is forbidden in the local Hausa language. On Monday, the group released this video saying it had the girls and it was going to sell them. These are the names of the girls who were abducted. Some have questioned if they've already been sold to Cameroon and Chad, but both governments have denied they were in their countries. Marie Goy, BBC News.